Welcome to Blue Helm Space News Brief. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube at Blue Helm Co. On this day in 1976, NASA's Viking 2 landed on the surface of Mars, about 4,000 miles from its predecessor, Viking 1. Together, the two landers returned 4,500 images of the red planet. Today is Thursday, September 3rd, 2020, and these are your top space news headlines. For only the second time in history, the Canadian Space Agency will have a smooth transition between presidents as the Government of Canada announces the veteran public servant, Lisa Campbell, will lead Canada's Space Agency. Campbell moves over from Veterans Affairs Canada, where she was Associate Deputy Minister. As NASA begins assembling the booster for the Space Launch System SLS rocket that will power the first Artemis mission to the moon, teams in Utah are evaluating materials and processes to improve rocket boosters for the use on the mission after Artemis 3. Quote, landing the first woman and the next man on the moon is just the beginning of NASA's Artemis program, unquote. Said NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine, quote, the SLS flight support booster firing is a critical part of sustaining missions to the moon. NASA's goal to take what we learn living and working on the moon and use it to send humans on the first mission to Mars, unquote. The SLS boosters are the largest, most powerful boosters ever built for flight. SpaceX today launched 60 Starlink inter- internet satellites on a Falcon 9 rocket while disclosing early testing results from the constellation for which it now has launched 713 satellites. SpaceX plans to roll out a public beta of Starlink internet services later this year, but is for now testing the service with employees. So listen, let's get real. You gotta do something with those important documents you have lying around. Whether it's for business or personal, residential or commercial, Future Shredding will provide contactless, on-site shredding right to you. You can watch it being shredded right inside the truck. It's awesome. Since 2007, they've been around shredding in Southern California. If that's something you need, go to their website at www.futureshredding.com or give them a call at 562-426-0557. Law, Policy, and Events NASA's Artemis program of human lunar exploration can help pave the way for human Mars mission, according to a new report released by the Space Exploration Advocacy Group. The workshop identifies 85 activities or functions associated with human Mars exploration, ranging from human health to landing technologies and surface systems. A, quote, significant number of them can benefit from the Artemis program or ongoing research on the International Space Station, the report concluded. The article and the report are both located in the show notes. Commercial and government activities in space keep growing, and yet nations are making little progress in establishing rules and norms of behavior, says the Center for Strategic and International Studies in a new report released today. The report looks at three key governance issues that CSIS analyst Caitlin Johnson contended needs more international attention. They are orbital debris mitigation, rendezvous and proximity operations, and insurance requirements. The links to the article and the full report are in the show notes. SpaceX keeps stacking those Starlinks up there, aren't they? I love it. Quick question to ponder. If you were to go to Mars, what would your job be? What is your profession right now? What could you contribute up there? I saw it on Twitter. Don't ask. Just just think about it. Who knows? All right, y'all. Have a good rest of your day. I got date night. Yeah. Drink your water.